I never had an idea that I would ever be uttering the words, I am a refugee in Germany. It sounds, yeah, I would never thought of that. My name is Mohammed Alalouche. I'm from Syria, Aleppo, and I'm living now in Berlin since already six years. Aleppo, where I come from, is a very beautiful city. It's just that I didn't fit there. I felt like I really didn't fit there. I decided to pursue music professionally. The professor that encouraged me to come to Berlin and pursue music in Berlin dedicated his life to teaching. He just plans things right at the beginning. So you really feel that curiosity is his first goal. It was definitely the first time where I saw how much impact an instructor can have on a student. I got the visa immediately flown to Berlin on the same day. But I didn't really realize that I'm actually going to Berlin, Germany, Europe. It's like, you know, I'm just leaving. So it was pretty intense when I left because I've never left Syria without my family ever. I arrived with my clothes, big bag and my guitar. Nothing else. I couldn't even speak the language here. So the war in Syria took off a year after I came to Berlin. Some shooting started in Aleppo, and Aleppo is such a big, important city that nobody expected this to come so fast. Seriously dangerous for young men to be there. So I had to apply as a refugee in Germany. And at that point, you kind of know, okay, you can never step a foot in that country. It was a sudden moment where you have to depend on yourself, whether you like it or not. That was uh, when I realized I needed something other than music that can really support a family. I was in the train and I met a guy who was a Syrian and he was a software engineer. He sent me a link to Udemy and it was Python masterclass by Tim Bochalka as a teacher, the best teacher. And back then I always thought of programming, software, everything about IT is boring. Makes no sense. Uh, I definitely thought it was the most boring thing you could possibly do. But at some point I just Bought it for the sake of it. Yeah, day one I got hooked. Wow, this stuff is for me. I did not know that. And then by the second day when I realized, okay, this is really cool thing to do. I sold one of my classical guitars. Got all the courses, a lot of books. It, I think it was about a week when I knew I would be software engineer. Two months after finishing my first course, I applied for many companies. Uh, one invited me. Right after the interview, I went back home knowing that I would not sleep for a week till I get the answer. But then they called me one hour after I got home and they said, yeah, it's a definite yes. Everybody liked you, did a good, great job. When they said it, I ran a bit outside. I'm like, I'm a software engineer now, that's crazy. Where I work now, we have 800 people and I'm the only one, I think, without a degree. After studying on Udemy, I have now a full-time job as a software engineer at a very exciting company. And I make three times more money every month than the money I spent on the courses on Udemy, which is a bit crazy. I don't know, I have this compulsive need to start writing teachers back. Uh, like, it's hard to believe that they don't know you, but they have such an effect on your life. It's, yeah, I wanted to write letters. John Thompson, Tim Puchalka, Ardit Souls, Tiru Manduluru, Olaj Holza, Chad Derby. Oh, Jose! To every teacher who ever taught me anything, especially to Udemy instructors, thank you very much. I kind of feel a connection to you because I've heard your voice like a couple of hundreds of hours. Thank you so much for all of your work. Thank you for what you do. And please keep doing it. It really feels like that you cared about the information you're providing on you really cared. Thank you so much for caring.